Hello everybody, this is Bryce Kendrick with Force Turbos. I wanted to go through the Redline G3 fuel fuel controller setup and how to get your computer set up to talk to your fuel controller. Um, what you need to do is first you need to go to tunerpro.net and download the Tuner Pro RT software. It's a free download. It's in the download section on that um, website. Uh, then what you'll need to do is you'll need to go onto your desktop and you need to create a folder. Um, with this, you, we will need to email you an ADX file, a XDF file, and a base map to open um, that you have for your snowmobile or the type of machine that you're looking to run. Okay, with that, let's get started. Once you have your Tuner Pro downloaded, you'll open it up and you'll, need, and you'll see this um, screen here. What you need to do is we need to go and download our XDF. So go to your XDF, hit select XDF. That should have been placed on your desktop in your folder. And we call it master XDF. You'll select that. Now that you have that, you will see here that it says that the XDF file is the master XDF. Next, you want to go and download your data acquisition files. So it's called an ADX. Go to acquisition, load definition file, and it should be in the same folder on your desktop. Go and download the ADX. The ADX is the communication that will let your computer talk to your fuel controller so that you can get data out of it, RPM, boost pressure, those kind of things. The XDF is for the computer to talk to the fuel controller to get the map and your adjustability capabilities. Once you have that done, what you'll want to do is go to this parameter order list and you'll want to type, hit parameter category. And what that does is that's going to set up your parameter categories here and get you set up ready to go. Also, to connect to the fuel controller, we need to set up our preferences. What we'll do is we'll go to Tools, we'll go to Preference, then we'll go to Data Acquisition and Emulation that's here. Go to Use Plugin and hit Use Plugin. Go to the next one down and it needs to say Data Tuner Pro Data Acquisition. Click on that, configure the plugin, go to there, and it needs to say share with emulator. Click share with emulator, hit OK. Come over here, make sure that this one says Tuner Pro emulator interface. Then make sure that the next one down says use high speed USB if connected or detected. Hit OK. Then check mark, make sure that each one of these are check marked and hit OK. Now your computer is set up to be able to make adjustments um, through the fuel controller and you should be good to go.